the food system is really not sustainable. Uh, what is happening is it's getting big subsidies of fossil fuels, it is over exploiting water, it is, it is using land in, an un, in unacceptable ways. There is a plateau at the moment for, for instance, the wheat yield. And a part of that plateau comes from uh, climate change. The natural disasters have increased over time and that creates a problem for agriculture one way or other, either flood or too much of drought and like that. Where in one case, the farmers don't actually know whether they're going to be able to harvest any foods, whereas on the other side, they actually don't know what type of seeds that they should use to, to plant. We've seen a very strong La Nina event, um, and, uh, and that of course has brought with it um, significant floods, and then followed by uh, a cyclone, Cyclone Yassi, uh, the size of which Australia had never seen before. And of the top 10 or 12, um, extreme precipitation events since 1871, half have occurred in about the last decade. So the interaction um, between climate change, food, water and energy security is absolutely critical and we would make an enormous error if we actually tried to deal with one without ignoring and ignore the other. Well food security in itself is a major issue but now we need to look at how food security is going to be influenced uh, by climate, climate change. Both of them have very tough conditions because the climate, of course, is, a big, uh, um, is in a big change. And at the same time, the food security is an issue again. People know that this is going to, this is, this is climate that which is important for agriculture because without the climate and weather, agriculture really doesn't exist. Agriculture as a dominant human terrestrial land use has an enormous influence not only on, our, on the human condition but also on our planetary condition. We actually look at the climate change and food security issue as the challenge of the entire government. The issues of food security are going to become very, very uh, fraught relatively soon, as indeed uh, water, which is closely associated with it. We have talked to the farmers um, at length, and many of those have told us that they have learned their farming techniques from their fathers and grandfathers, but that knowledge is not coming handy anymore. Farmers, particularly women farmers, then begin to become uh, very innovative in the type of seeds that they maintain. Drought resistant uh, crops, um, disease resistant uh, crops, um, in some cases, uh, you know, wet, wet uh, uh, tolerant uh, varieties, etc. The most important thing about the word sustainable is we're talking about long term commitments, we're talking about long term success. We'll uh, put all the expertise together to see which solutions we can put in place. People have looked at food security, people have looked at climate change. There are different institutions that deal with them, but I think few have posed the question about food security in the context of both mitigating and adapting to climate change, which is the focus of this commission. The Agriculture Ministry and other related ministries are not yet sure that how climate change is going to impact on agriculture adversely. And so there is a lacuna both in the national arena and also in the international arena. And I think the Commission's work will help bridge these two together. Because what we are going to do is to synthesize all the information that we have from the various assessments. And then we're going to use the best information that we have from that synthesis to actually inform policy. At the moment, you have discussion uh, in the G20, for instance, about price volatility. And obviously, there is a link between food prices, volatility, and climatic conditions. Our producers are making choices every day. Our communities are making choices. Um, our consumers are making choices. So I hope this commission will focus on the science base to support those choices and inform policy, which will consider science and other um, ways human beings take into account what's, go what's happening around us. So we'll look at many of the aspects of, uh, of, of food security, but, uh, but from the lens 
of um, the influence now of climate change and uh, and how that will affect those uh, those aspects of food security.